guys y'all are welcome to nessa growth a big thank you thank you so much for just watching my videos i truly appreciate you or if you're coming across my channel for the first time you're welcome to nessa growth and more feel free to watch every other of my video like and if you've not subscribed please click on that subscription button subscribe and join my family i feel so happy whenever i see this relocation video especially nigerians that are being relocated to places like uk or canada but in this video i'll be talking about nigerians that have relocated to uk truth be told uk have made like so many nigerians lives easier and even much better in the past one or two years with all this relocation that they've been moving either you came in through student visa or working permits or something but the fact that you've left nigeria and now you've relocated especially if maybe you were not like doing well in nigeria what you will get in uk is what maybe it would have took you like maybe 10 or 15 years before you would have been able to like achieve it or have that kind of comfort life and a secure life and also education aspects in the life of your kids but now it's just so good that you are getting it like in uk like so so i won't say so easy because most of the visa especially those that came in through student visa you have like a huge amount of money to pay but trust me it is worth it okay the money you spend for me i feel it's worth it i don't know where you are coming from like i said it depends on how you were living in nigeria before if you have like a very good life in nigeria that you feel like Oh, I don't need to like come to UK. I'm okay there. It's fine. But most people that are relocated from Nigeria to UK, even though if they will say that their life was a hundred percent good in Nigeria, there are some aspects that you are getting now in UK that it would, it would have taken you like so long for you to get it in Nigeria. I won't talk about the security. I won't talk about the health. I won't talk about the education and even the pay and even your own comfort and all that. So most people that relocate to UK or every other part of the world now and all that, they relocated for a better future and trust me they are getting it way way more better here in uk or wherever they are as compared to where they were in nigeria so so let's forget all this narrative of people saying i was living like a very comfortable life in nigeria my kids were way okay we didn't have to like travel i was doing well my husband was working trust me the life you are getting wherever you are now be it in uk canada or us is far better than what you were getting in nigeria if you will if, if, if you will be like so so truthful to yourself anyway i want to make this video congratulations to all of them that have been located i'm so happy for them but making this video because i'm happy especially for those that have relocated to uk like i said earlier so so many of the benefit or let me say the privilege or the things that so many nigerians are getting in uk if it's a place like germany that they relocated trust me you won't get it like in the first one year or maybe even like two years or three years or it might even take you like five years before you will get what you guys just like landed in uk and you are getting and so I'm making this video so that you so that in case you want to relocate you will weigh germany weigh uk and weigh canada and you will see where to move okay number one so many people that relocated to uk and all that they already have houses that are already like furnished all you have to do is just to like pay like the monthly pay the house you can already see there's dining table there are chairs there's bedroom that is already set with bed the kitchen is already with dishwasher and everything and all that Trust me, in Germany, you will never see a house that is already like furnished and waiting for you just to come and start paying. You will never see. I've lived in Germany for like nine years, going to 10 years now. It's just one of my friends that, let me say, the apartment that they moved into, it was not even well furnished. Let me say for the kitchen, everything was there. The kitchen was already like mounted there with the dishwasher and everything. And the bedroom, there was a wooden bed. You have to like buy the mattress yourself and everything. And for the parlor, there was no chair. You have to like put in the chair, put in the shrunks, the cupboard the kids room and everything but in uk like so many of the houses of so many videos i've seen the kitchen is already with dishwasher washing machine cooker the parlor is already furnished with the dining area the kids room is already with bed and everything you will never see that in germany i'm so sorry as you are coming you will pay for an empty flat an empty apartment or an empty house you really want to like furnish everything so just imagine you like just coming you have to like look for money to furnish your house buy everything that you and your kids need that's like a whole amount of money to be like gathered before you can like make your life or make a how a home comfortable for you and your kids but for uk the house is already there you just have to like just walk in with your clothes everything is there the kitchen there are even like plates and cups you can never see that in germany so that's just the number one factor so in case if you want to relocate and even though if you have your visa money and everything if you are thinking of a place like germany i'm sorry you have to have the money to like furnish your house yourself from the beginning 
everything from cup to bed to the television everything nobody's going to leave anything for you to come and get so free as the way um in other countries you can get like free things like that the second thing you cannot get so free and so easy like that in germany if you are just relocating is driving there's no way you can come with your driving license from nigeria and come and start driving here in germany it is not possible we all that used to drive in nigeria and have our driving license here when you come you have to like go to the german school again the driving school you have to like and it you have to like get a driving license before you'll be allowed to drive on the road it's not like they will even give you like half of a year or maybe like two months that you can use that your nigeria here it is not allowed you have to like get a new driving license so i'm just so happy with so many nigerians that just relocated and they're already like flexing and driving in uk and some part of the country and i was like man you can never get that in nigeria i'm so sorry you'll come you have to like start everything from the beginning and it's so expensive like it's so expensive getting a driving license here is so so expensive should i say that is an opportunity or should say it's a privilege for most nigeria that have relocated especially places like uk they're already like driving with their nigerian license and just bought a car or rent a car and here even that renting of a car you never even see a car to rent you have to like buy it yourself it's either you are buying a brand new or you are buying an old car you can't see a rented car maybe in some big cities maybe like the capital like berlin but most cities you can't even see a rented car and so many people don't even rent car here everybody just like buy their own car because you have to like get a driving license yourself buy your own car before you get on the road and sit in the car and start flexing so i'm just so happy for so many nigerians that are already like in canada and uk and they're already like driving life is like so cool for them they didn't get on the bus and everything or they didn't push kinder van or run after bus and everything that is just so nice so in case if you want to relocate you should put that into mind that in germany you have to like get your driving license before you'll be allowed to drive on the road another thing again i love so much about this relocation vlog especially uk let me use uk the school system like you see one month two months schools kids that just relocated they're already in school in germany i won't lie but one month two months it's not even the little ones that are in kindergarten that is the nursery school that don't really like know the language and everything you cannot just come in and then just see an open space like that you have to like wait on the list maybe like three months or four months here once you are pregnant with your baby you have to like register the baby in a kindergarten like once you are pregnant or immediately you give birth to that baby but the baby has to start like in two years that's to say the baby have to wait for two years only maybe if you are working and you want the baby to like start maybe six months or something but it's it's very difficult only if you look for they call it target motor but most target motor don't take kids six or eight months it's from one year but for my twins my twins started kind of them target motor when they were eight months but you have to pay like we have to pay it wasn't free even like for the normal school like the primary school that i see like the grown-up in uk they already starts here it's not possible because when the child comes this child have to like learn the language before the child will be able to like join the real school and participate with um his or her mate so when you come in the first time i think there are some little little courses that the child has to be like, attending i know some ghana family that just moved in the boys were attending these little little courses they did that for some months before they now moved into the normal school to like start attending school with their normal kids but for uk i'm so happy that people just come in and their kids are already in school well because they speak english that is why it is different and everything in uk is different from germany we're being colonized by the english uh, masters <laughs> let me call them the no masters we are not slaves so i feel that is why things are a little bit easier for those that have relocated to uk but if you are thinking of relocating to a place like germany things might be a little bit slow for you it won't really be that sharp sharp like getting a house that is already furnished getting schools for your kids like immediately driving on the road it's not it will take you some time for you to like adjust and fit in and another thing i see people in canada or uk they come immediately and they are getting their permanent residence <laughs> here there's no way you can just move into Germany and you get your permanent residence. It's not possible. It has to like take you process. You go to school, you apply. They used to be like renewing your stay yearly or maybe like two years before you now even get your permanent residence, before you even like start applying for your German resident. But places like UK and Canada, like they come in immediately and the next thing they are flying their flag, citizenship, and they already have their PR, which is permanent residence here. It's not like that. So thanks to all those that are jackballing to places like UK and Canada. Trust me, their life will be more um, easier for them at the start. Like they will get things like more faster 
as compared to Germany. Like here, the language alone will like slow you down if you are not a smart person and all that. But if you are someone that just wants to like come in, get a job, get everything done sharp, sharp. I don't think Germany is a place for like most people here. Like you do things like step by step and then you like achieve your goal or your milestone i don't want this video to be so long thank you so much for watching i hope you get one or two things in the video i was just trying to state the difference between relocating to uk and germany and how you get things like so done so fast and so easily in these two countries and i'm happy that uk is so so fast as compared to germany if you've not subscribed subscribe if you've not liked please like this video other than that i'll be seeing you in my next video do have a lovely day and remain blessed bye